Is Bitcoin going to continue higher this week or pull back? What does this mean for smaller coins like Ripple, Litecoin and Ethereum? Are there any altcoins setting up for some big moves? I'm Nicola. I have over 12 years experience as a professional trader and an analyst working for hedge funds in the city. I bought my first Bitcoins in 2011 and I love crypto. I've got a video show every Monday night where I share my analysis in a live stream at 9pm UK time, 4pm New York time. Please join me at facebook.com forward slash Nick Trades. And if you've got a coin or token you'd like some technical analysis on, then leave me a comment. If you like the page, you'll get notifications when I'm going live. See you then. So here we are in Bitcoin. What are we, what are we doing here? Let's take a look at the daily. Uh, most altcoins have broken these lows today. Bitcoin is retesting these lows. Now, Bitcoin loves double bottoms. It loves to make retest lows and then bounce off them. And so unless we actually close at new lows in Bitcoin, there isn't, you know, there is a possibility that this is what we're seeing, especially as it's quite early on a Monday morning and a bit of a Monday morning shakeout and then a move the other direction isn't crazy. You know, Bitcoin really does like to retest levels like that. So we should be firstly on watch. We should be on watch for a swing failure pattern at this low, uh, which would be quite bullish. And we'd see some follow through and would suggest an irregular correction, you know, where we do a and then a B leg and then a C leg, you know, having made a new low on our B leg in the middle. That wouldn't be cr crazy as well. And Jeff Bauman brings up a good point. It's it's the. Uh, Thanksgiving holiday this week in America. So a huge part of the market is going to close down Wednesday lunchtime and will not come back till next week. OK, and last year, Bitcoin went very, very quiet uh, over the holiday and was really quite volatile into the and afterwards. And it's um, this Thanksgiving holiday is very often a market turning point. So the direction that we go into the holiday is very often reversed afterwards with people uh, taking positions on and off. So if we break these lows, where are we going? Well, we were waiting for quite a long time for 5,000. Um, and so I think 5,000 could be support. But if we keep going, I'm afraid it's 4,400 till still. And so I've done a little bit of longer term study on this. Let's go find Bitcoin here. So here's my Bitcoin chart. As you know, I think that this is all a big correction because of how this has unfolded. And we're in a giant ABC correction. And this one here, this bounce, this is we're now in an ending uh, diagonal, and, sorry, or a declining wedge, sorry. And when you do that within the declining wedge, the waves usually subdivide into ABC. So this is what we're seeing here. And if this is the case in this one, then because this is and also unfolds as five waves like this. So here is one wave. Here is wave one, two, three, four. And now we're in the fifth wave. There's a really important rule in Elliott Wave that the third wave can't be the shortest. And at the moment, this wave three is shorter than this wave one. So that means that that puts a limit on how low we can go with this wave. We can measure from here and we can put it for where the start of the triangle and we can say, oops, I've done this wrong. This is wave one. Uh, we can say that we know where we won't go beyond. Um, at the moment, we won't go beyond 4,400. Have I done this wrong? Have I have? Yeah, here is our ending diagonal. Okay, so one, two, 4,152, if I've measured this right. And I'm using the coin pages because we get the average. 4,266. So we can't go beyond that because then our wave five would be longer than our wave three. And that's not allowed to happen. And then, and so now that's also pointing to the 4,300, 4,400 level that we've been looking at before. OK, I do think it's a super wedge. Yeah. And if it's a super wedge, Dean asks, aren't we forming a super wedge that if we break up out of? Yeah, we are. But 
you know, we've got no trade until we break out of the upside. And I'd like to look at about where we where we're going to finish. I think it's quite important. So I'm going to take off. I'm going to hide all of these um, because I'm not a huge, as you know, Elliott Wave isn't my strongest uh, um, thing. And we're going to look at fibs, fib projections and see where our fib projections tell us that this rally will end. Because for me, I've got really, um, the Elliott Wave guys will tell you that they like, for some reason, they like a 3,000. And I know why they like the 3,000 level. It's because that they say that this was an extended wave five and this should retrace all the way, which takes us back to this these lows here at 2,900. So that's why a lot of Elliott Wave people are looking at 3,000. But when I do FIB projections off the corrections and see where everything lines up and I look for confluence, then I think that we go a little bit lower than that. Okay, so I'm going to use this. I'm going to set it up. Okay, we don't need that one. So for each of these corrective bounce swings, we're going to do Fibonacci projections and see where they line up with our Fib retrace levels to tell us where the confluence is. And already with this first one, you can see we're lining up with the 786, which is 4,500 and then 2,300. So that's where these levels are coming from. If I do this one and I'll change the color here, yeah, we'll go red then same deal so 1.618 from this here we go need to line it up properly lined up properly from this swing as well so suddenly you can see that we're getting a lot of confluence at these levels if we do it here they don't always line up but you can see we'll change the color we'll delete that 1270 we'll make it blue here we go, lined up again. So 4,400 for each one of these swings when we project where we're likely to end up. There we go again, 1.618. So we'll make this green. So 4,000, between 4,100, sorry, 4,200 and 4,400 is where the support is. So even if I think if we get a little bounce off 5,000, we will still continue lower to this 4,200 level. And this will be then our bullish Gartley pattern where we would look to find support. But this is also tells us as if we overshoot 4,200. So we're going to try and buy here on reversal price action. But it tells us also that if we keep going, that the next cluster is 2,200, 2,400. And so if we fall out of it, or if this is a bigger wedge, or if this becomes a parallel channel, which sometimes they do, then, you know, that's where we're looking at. So 4,300. So we need to be patient. Get into tether, hedge your positions, get into fiat. Now, if we make a new low, which it does look like we're doing. Yeah, please do. Please do. Or wait for the bounce retest but yeah we're very oversold on the RSI uh, on the CCI you know we're we're um, normally on a CCI we would look for we call 200 oversold and we call you know plus 200 overbought and we've we're all the way down at 350 so you know at some point we are going to get a decent bounce but this is the shakeout, and, I, and most altcoins are not going to do well while Bitcoin is doing this.